Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do some more set sales for glory. Continue our, I don't know whether to call them exploits or follies of, uh, of uh, Harper Westcoat right now. <clears throat> uh, I think I just, yeah, I screwed the pooch on that one. How about we load a game? Okay, we're delivering West uh, the little, 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 little dispatches. If you remember correctly, we had a very difficult time with so uh, started with a bad melee, which Harper's no good at all in melees. That's the second or third one now that we've just completely blown it out of our rear end after we had a good broadside, and um, then we went back to port to try to recover up from that, and we ended up getting a whole bunch of social functions that we blew out too. So. Harper Westcoat, I would say, would be your basic Marine, except that he sucks in melee, so I can't even call him a Marine. Um, so, anyway, we find ourselves on turn 38. Twelve turns, I think it is, left to go in the long campaign. We're stuck on First Lieutenant. We've got minus seven merit. We're still in a sloop of war. Um, and we are headed out to Gibraltar to deliver dispatches, and we just can't stick around port anymore. We've got to take our chances on getting something good. We are anchored. So we'll go to our sequence of play, uh, healing. We don't need any healing. We're in port. We're going to not check for promotion or court martial because we're not under minus 10 yet. And we sure as hell are not going to get a promotion with a minus 7 merit. So we're going to roll for a port event. And for those of you that are watching, I did screw up for quite a few turns uh, on this conduct port assignment. Uh, this port assignment, you're only supposed to conduct... That is basically your deliver dispatches and stuff is what that is. Uh, so that is what you would do there. You get, move your ship, you roll for a sea event, then you're going to go ahead and say, I delivered my dispatches as you're anchoring in port. Um, so I was getting that wrong. I was conducting a shore assignment. And the only time you conduct a shore assignment is when you're directed to off of the uh, sea assignment chart. I think it's a C assignment chart. Anyway, so I wanted to clarify that, that I was screwing the pooch on that one, too. Anyway, we're going to roll for a port event. And again, these charts will not be included in the Vassal module that's uploaded, so don't look for them. I know I've gotten messages on that before. Is my uh, Vassal module missing something? No, it is not. If I were to include all these charts and stuff, there'd be no incentive for you to buy the game. So um, I can't and I will not give that away. These guys work too hard designing games to give away free games. And I do not in any way, shape, or form want to see Vassal become a um, platform for piracy. It, it should be for guys like me that have limited space or guys that don't, you know, we have families and you have kids, cats, dogs that uh, mess things up or you just can't. You're on the road. You want to play. Vassal should be that for you guys. Uh, so it, you don't have, you can put a game down and save it. You're done. You don't have to worry about cleanup or anything and then try and set it all back up later. Um, and not a means to get free games. That's my rant, my rant, my rant. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and roll for a port event, shall we? Uh, we are anchored in port, not for long, but we are, and we're rolling a D10 and we are first lieutenant. So we're adding two to our dice roll. We get a three, four, five, anchor to port, gather provisions. I do like gather provisions. That should help me with my um, help me with my crew a little bit if I can roll some decent dice here. We're rolling our leadership, D10. <laughs> One. What did I say about rolling decent dice? We got absolutely no successes on our leadership, which I was counting on. Our D8 for integrity is a seven. Uh, we've got uh, Sleep of War, seven, two successes. That's the least we got something recovered from it. We're rolling a lot of ones. Uh, two successes for a first lieutenant. It's not very good. Adequate precisions, restore one cannon or crew. Um, better than nothing, I guess. At least we didn't go negative. Um, we're going to replenish one crew. You know what? It might be better to replenish one cannon. Let's do that. We'll go up one cannon. But I'd rather have that at this point. Uh, back to our SOP. 
We are going to determine port action. We'll go straight to set sails. So we're going to go ahead and put underway, which is then going to take us to the moving the ship. We're going to roll a D6. And at our current ship speed, we got a 4 plus 5 is a 9. Under C actions, it's going to give us a ship movement of 3. We're going to go out to open C right down to here. We're going to roll for a C event. D12, 7. I think we get a plus 2 on this one for being a first lieutenant. Yes, we do. So we are out at sea. That's an 8 9. Goes up to merchant convoy, merchant ship sighted. We are delivering dispatches, so we do not want to engage if it's a uh, ship of war. Actually, I don't think we're going to disengage if anything. So, um, I mean, engage if any of them. So we're going to roll anyway. One is a, a merchant sloop, and is he engaged or is he escorted or not? Six. Of course it is. Fourth rate frigate. We are not getting a rolls. Um, I'm fourth rate frigate. I am not going. Yeah, I have to just to see what the uh, what the um, how badly they uh, are going to maul me if I don't get my act together here. Fourth rate frigate goes down here. I'll go ahead and draw my guy over, do this by the book. And then a battle board. We're going over here. Fourth rate frigate. We're going to draw him down here. Knock this back out a little bit. Get that down here. Draw a uh, reset the crew for them. 22 out of 30. Definitely outnumber me. And a captain for a fourth rate frigate is going to be a commander. Going to outclass me in every shape, any way, shape, or form. Commander. Okay, so we are going to determine the enemy battle orders. Um, he has 10 cannon to my six, so that's a plus four. He's a warship, plus one. We're rolling a uh, 2d6. 8, 9, 10. He's going to try to engage. We're going to try to disengage. Um, yeah, we're asking, delivering. We're trying to flee, so we're going to go to the flee pursuit. Uh, each ship captain is going to roll their seamanship. I'm going to go for their speed first. His seamanship is an 8, D8. A 4 goes up to an 8. And uh, the POs. We add ours, but they don't. So he's got an 8. And we are PO. Oops. PO card. I lost my PO card. There we go. We are going to roll our seamanship. D10. A 4. Plus our speed. 5 is a 9 to an 8 so far. We can roll our rigging, which is a D8. For successes, we get no successes on rigging. And leadership D10, 7. That's going to be two successes on that. So we've got 9 goes up to 10, 11 versus 8. We won by 3. Uh, both ships exchange uh, broadsides with the winner firing first. So I get to fire at him first. That's going to be 6. And then our uh, gunnery is... I keep losing my PO card. Gunnery is D10. We get no successes on that, so we're going to have six broadside. Good lord, we hit once. Not very good. And that's going to be a uh, crew hit. I'll knock them down one. And on a roll of D6 of one, the captain will be injured. He is not. They're going to retaliate with the 10 plus the gunnery of their captain, which is a 6. Good lord, he gets a success. So that goes up to an 11. And he gets 3, 6, 7, 8 hits. One's not ineffective, one's going to take out a cannon. Uh, three are going to take out crew. I got to roll 3d6 to see if we get a 5 or 6 for our, our injuries. Not on the first one, not on the second one, 
do on the third one. That's a D8 wound. Six is going to knock us down one stamina. And the last three take us down damage times three on sales. And that's just going to make it hard for us to get away. And we are now crippled, too. This is not going very well, by the way. We are not faring very well in the sleep of war. Um, striking colors. We are crippled, so we've got to check for a strike. We have six guys left on board. Two to nine, we're going to strike. And we can roll our leadership, D10. Seven, we get two successes on that, so we're going to add two. So, nine. We're going to roll 2d6, adding two. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. We are actually not going to strike yet. Um, no boarding. We both shift remains. So we go back to determining the orders. They are trying to engage, I'm sure of it, especially now. The five cannon above us. Uh, plus one, 2d6, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, they definitely continue to, to pursue us. We're going to go again to the pursuit table. Um, going to do their speed first. There's a D8 seamanship. Three, seven for them. His uh, rigging. No, he doesn't get rigging. They don't get anything. Seven for them. Then we go for our. Seamanship is a D10. Nine. Nice. Plus uh, zero is nine. So nine to seven. We get to add our, our rigging, which is a D8 successes. Two, no successes on rigging. And leadership, D10. Three, no successes on that. So nine to seven, we win by two. Both ships are going to uh, exchange a broadside again. This is not good. We do not want to be pounding it out with a fourth rate frigate and we're down. We get five plus our gunnery. Our gunnery is a D10. Yes. 10. Good. At least we got successes on that one. 3 plus 5 is 8 broadside. So at least we're going to throw something in there worthwhile. Uh, but we only get 4 hits. We're not doing good on that department. 4 hits. Uh, one's going to be no effect. 3 and 4 are going to knock down their crew by 3. And three shots at one. Oh, captain's wounded. Second one's not. Third one's not. That's a D8. Five, he's going to go down one. They're going to fire their broadside. His gunnery is a six. Three, no successes. So he's going to have ten shots at us. Um, That's going to be four hits only. Four hits only. Uh, two are ineffective. A four is going to be a crew. We go down to five. And then five is going to be another uh, structure damage. And we got a roll for our wound. Five, of course, we did. A one is going to be a flesh wound. No effect. Well, we did not get out of there. So we have to go back and determine orders again. They have ten to five again. Plus one. 2d6, 6, 7. Engage. They're going to continue to try and gauge. So we go to the pursuit table. Again, we're going to roll for his um, seamanship. It's a d8. 1 plus 4 is a 5. We might get away on this one. 5. And we are a d10 seamanship. 4 minus 1 is a 3. So 3 to 5 right now. We need good rolls here on rigging. D8. Not there, and on leadership, D10, not there. We just lost. Uh, tied. Actually won by, we lost by two, so they get the fire first. That's a 10, plus his gunnery, D6. No successes, 10 shots. And, oh, he's going to miss on all but three. No, we're crippled. That goes up to, oh, good Lord, that hurts. That gives him seven hits now. Um, one's ineffective, two cannon, Jesus, 
I think we're done, guys. I think we're done. Two cannon down. Four crew down. Takes us down to one. I'm going to replenish one crew because we only lost four of them. We got to roll four shots for us getting a five or more. One, we got hurt. Two, we got hurt. And D8. Uh, five is minus one. We're losing one more stamina. And um, we got to roll for a strike. We got one guy left. We are adding our successes for leadership. Six. That's going to be one, two. So we're going to add two. Three, four, five. We have struck. That's not good. Um, player ship struck right here. We are going to roll a D6. One. Defeat. Roll in a capture table. I think I ran into this before. I don't have capture table right down here. Um, if we are captured, here I must roll in a capture table to determine his fate. That's going to be a wit, D6, 5, that's 1 success, and strength, D8, 1, that 1 success only. Fight guards, roll in guards, fight guards, table succeed, and you ex escape. Fight guards, where do I have fight guards? Do I have fight guards? Thought I did. You know what? Best way to find out will go into our rules real quick. Some of these I've got to add in here. We're going to find fight guards. All right, right down here is the fight guard stable. All right, so we got to use our fighting and our strength. Our fighting is D8. Eight, nice. That's two successes, and our strength is a D8, a five. So we've got three successes on that table. Success, character escapes, but takes a D6 wound roll. We do gain one merit. And we go down one more on stamina. And we got to go back into our charts. And we... Yeah, escape, but... We did get the one escape table. We roll PO, rolls wit, and um, into, uh, leadership D6 for wit. One, nothing there. And uh, leadership D10, nothing there. Ah, not going very well at all. Utter failure, minus one merit. Take a D10 wound roll. Oops. Uh, D10 wound roll is one. That's going to be a flesh wound. And we minus one merit point down to down to minus seven. So we did not escape. So we're going to be in imprisonment. Okay, we go to the imprisonment table. This is where it gets a little funky. You got to kind of wander your way around. Um, the charts because it doesn't tell you where to go after you see. There's got to use a little common sense sometimes. D6, 5. On the imprisonment table. I'm going to heal 2 and attempt ransom. Go up to stamina of 5. 
Lieutenant Ransom, we're current rank as lieutenant. We're going to roll PO rolls two times. Our uh, seamanship die for successes. That's D10. Roll a three and a five. We get one freaking success. Not very good. We are not released. And we are on the prison hex on the map now. Until he is releases, released or escapes. So, all right. So we're going to be on the prison. We are now not a, no longer underway. We no longer have a ship. Okay, we can return that. Our guy's going to go to the prison. And we can delete this. And we can return him to the deck. So. And we also. Lost our. Um, sloop. So we lost two more merit. That's going to take us down to minus nine. All right. Back to the. Sequence of play. Next turn. Up to turn 39. We're going to increase our stamina to 6 as we heal. Uh, we're definitely not getting a promotion. We're definitely not doing a report event. Imprisonment action. We have no choice. we got to roll for an escape. Uh, imprisoned. Okay, right here. We've got a roll for Utura released or escape. So we're going to roll one on imprisonment table. Roll a d6. A 6. That's probably not good. Now, heal to and attempt ransom. We are completely healed. Ransom again. Success is 2 die times our, our, our social. Actually, that's a d12. I rolled that wrong last time. We get an 11. That's going to be a good one. Three successes and a six gives us four. Five successes. We may be out of there, gentlemen. Five successes. We are uh, successes to be released. Released. Uh, doesn't say. Well, I would assume Portsmouth. If you get, uh, if you escape, you go there. So I'm assuming Portsmouth. We're going to put ourselves in Portsmouth. We do not have a ship assignment. Uh, so we are done with that uh, port phase. We can't go to sea. We go back up to the next turn 40. We heal. We don't need any healing. We don't check for promotion or court martial. Um, port event. I don't really think. We, we'll, we'll roll and see what we get. But I don't think we're going to be doing it because we don't have a ship. But I always like to give it a chance. Port event of the 12. 10 plus 2 is a 12. Oh boy, a social function. Yeah, we've done real well at them lately. Um, we're going to be rolling for integrity, D8, and our social. Social first, 3. Nothing. We do not do social events very well. And the D8 for integrity, three, nothing. Again, we just total buffoon, minus two. We go down to minus 11. We do not do social functions very well. Port action. Uh, we're going to try to get a ship posting. So we're going to go to a ship posting. We've got to get probably court marshaled anyway, but we'll try it. Uh, D12. 7. We're going to get a 4th rate frigate. 4. We will be in command of it if we don't get court marshaled. So we will be going to a 4th rate frigate. We're going to replenish our crew. Reset the crew. 
and we are 23 out of 30 that's not bad we do have a ship now so i can put him up here and we're also going to roll for a ship assignment we are anchored not underway uh, our ship assignment is going to be d12 or the assignment we are in a frigate D12, three, dispatchers escort the VIP. I forgot to remove that last time, so we're going to just use the same one. Uh, and we're going to 65. Every time I see Leghorn, I think of Foghorn, Leghorn cartoons. I don't know why. 65 is Tangier. I yeah, didn't even make it to Gibraltar last time, so. Um, we can't set sail. We already did our one. We can't move ships. So we're going to go up to the next turn. Next turn is turn 41. We're going to heal. Don't need any healing. Promotion court martial. We have to go through a court martial check. We're at minus 11 right now. This could be good, though. If we pass this. Uh, we we reset our um, our um, merit to zero. Actually, I should have done a court martial before because I lost a ship under my command. So we better do that. Oh boy, see, I'm forgetting a lot here lately. We'll do two court martial checks because I forgot to do one earlier. No, we, we really only need to do one. We'll just mulligan it. Reset the merit. We're going to roll for strength or, or integrity D8. That's no successes. <laughs> Leadership D10. One success. Um, social D12. Five. That's two successes. We are not doing well. This might be the end of my campaign. And our seamanship D10. Two, nothing. We got two successes. Return to duty. Somehow we return to duty. We do not have a ship because you, um, you know what? We're going to say we just got the ship then. Return to duty, but we didn't get much out of that. All right. Well, we, at least we got a clean slate now and a decent amount of crew under us. So we survived that. Roll for port event. We roll, roll for that. We a D12. Plus two, nine, ten, eleven, anchored in port, storm, or reef. It'll be a reef in this instance. Uh, plus ship modifier. We've got a plus four, and we are rolling our, our seamanship, which is a D10. Two, <laughs> six. Yeah, we're not doing too very well. We are not rolling well anymore. Six is going to run structure damage. Want to roll a four to six. We got a one, so no structure damage, no harm, no foul. Good. Um, port action. We're going to go ahead and set sails. That's going to take us to the sea. We're going to move ship. Five plus four is a nine. Nine is going to be three movement factors. Down to here, we're in the open sea. We're going to do a sea event. Hopefully now we can run into a merchant. This would be a lot better for us to do that. Uh, we're going to be ro rolling D12 and adding two. Three, four, five. We are at sea. Shipboard life. D12, four. Rigging drill. Leadership, ten. Nine. That's good successes. Uh, nine is going to be three successes. And our rigging is a D8. Seven, nice. Two more successes. That's five successes. So five successes gives us two merit points up. Uh, we're not in port assignments. We're not anchoring in ports. We're going to the next turn. We don't need to heal. We're going to crank up to 42. 
uh, port action fees, promotion, court martial check. When we are out at sea, we don't do any of those. Moving ship. One plus our speed modifier, our, our speed uh, modifier for the ship is five. Sea movement is going to be two. Movement points, we're going to be at sea still. We're going to roll another sea, sea event. D12 plus 2, 7, 8, 9 at sea, merchant convoy. Roll for ship sighted. D6, we get a sloop. And is he escorted? One. No, he is not escorted. Nice. So we got a sloop, a merchant sloop. And that's not a sloop of war, that's a sloop. This should be good for us. I'm going to move him to the battle map. Let's get our guy over there first. Get them over there. Set their crew. 12. 12 to 23 with four guns to 10. Don't get excited. We've been down this road before and have not fared well. Our dice desert us. Charts. We are looking for opponent, opposing captain. That's going to be a second lieutenant. All right, get this out of the way for now. Deper determining uh, opposing ship's orders. Um, they're minus six, and they're uh, they're going to always flee. So he's trying to flee. Uh, we are. Oh Christ, we're on. We're on. Um, delivering dispatches. We're going to attempt to flee. We're fleeing and they're fleeing combat ends, so we don't get that gone. I would have loved to have taken them, but we're always on dispatches. All right. Let's re return everything. Return to Matt. We're going to return us to our ship, fourth, the fourth rate frigate. Want to delete them. Send him back to deck. All right. Sequence of play says we are going to the next turn and healing. We don't need any healing. We're going to turn 43. We're not in port, so we go straight to the move ship. D6, 1 plus 4 is 5. It's going to give us, I think it's 3 again. Ah, 2. That's going to be enough to get us into the port anyway. See the event. We are in the coastal. D12 plus th 2. 6, 7, 8. Storm. Going to be a reef check again. We're not doing well on these. Uh, seamanship plus the speed modifier of the ship. We got a plus 4. Seamanship is a D10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No damage. So we survived that. Uh, conduct port assignment. We deliver our dispatches. Delivering dispatches gives us our three merit points. Um, anchor in port. Yes, we will anchor in port. Turn that to the deck. We're in Tangier, anchored in port. That's going to be the end of that turn. We're going to the next turn, healing phase. We don't need any healing. Turn 44. I'm going to check for promotion. I know it's ballsy, but we're going to check for promotion. We haven't done squat to earn it, but we'll, we'll check it. Uh, promotion checks, port actions. We got five merit points. And we are looking for an 18. <laughs> they laughed at us. We rolled a 10. Um, roll for a port event. We will do that. Plus 2. D12, 11, 12, 13. Freaking social functions. We have not done very well at these. 10 to social function. Uh, we're going to roll our um, social first, which is a D12. We get a 0. Successes on the big one and our integrity D8. 
three, zero. Once again, we are a public embarrassment. We lose two merit points, go down to three. We just we just suck at social functions. Nothing else to say. To, we suck, that's all. Um, next step, determine port actions. Um, I really don't think I need to do anything. Let's go ahead and get our ship uh, assignment. We are in another uh, port. Oh, actually, another port right there. Uh, seven. It's going to be a roll for a shore assignment. The shore assignment. We go, we're in a frigate. We're going to roll a D12. Nine. Patrol for smugglers. We're going to roll our seamanship, which is a D10. Five. Oh, yeah, five. It's one success. And we're going to roll for our wit, which is a D6. Five. That's two successes. As a lieutenant, adequate execution, roll a D12, 6, conduct skirmish versus 3D6 pirates. So, we got half of our guys going under this. Need a battle mat out. We're on it. We got friendly force, half of our guys, that's going to be 23, rounded up is going to be 12. Not 112, though I'd rather it be. And we are up against smugglers, which are merchants, pirate force. They're going to get a first lieutenant or second lieutenant. 3d6, regardless. 3 and 8 is 11. We'll be having 11. And we'll give them a lieutenant. All right, got to conduct a skirmish. Um, huh. Couldn't really say anything about having a um, officer on their side. I may be doing that wrong. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the officer because it really doesn't say anything about having an officer with them. Let's go ahead and roll then. We have 12. That's going to be D10. We rolled zero successes on that. Off to a great start. We have not done well on melees at all. Um, we are going to go ahead and add our leadership, which is a D10, a five. That's one success. Our gun, our gunnery, or shooting D10. That's uh, good. That's a good roll there. Eight, which is two more successes to three, and our fighting, which is a D8, six. Good. That's two more. That gives us five successes right there. Against their 11, D10, 3, no successes. So we won 5 to nothing. Enemy 4th withdrawals, but take 6D crew damage, uh, D6 damage, damage rule. And we gain 3 merit points up to 6. First time we did well on a skirmish. We take a D6 damage, a 6. Ouch. Crew damage roll. I think that is uh, successes are the damage. Okay, we only lose one. D6, two. two lo we lost two crew. Lose crew. Yes, same as successes, but we're losing. Um, and then we take a. One to see if we get wounded or not. Oh, no, hold on. It says right here. 
PO takes a D6 wound roll. And we are four. That's going to be a minus one on our our stamina. Okay, so we did all right on that. We can go ahead and clear these out. Delete them. Delete them. Send him back to the battle map. Or not battle map. Back to our ship. It's nice have We did lose one crew permanently though, so I got to take them off. All right, but that wasn't bad. That was our um, shore assignment. That's all we can do. We're still anchored, so we can't do anything more. We're going to go to the next turn and heal. 45. I'm going to go ahead and try to get promoted. We heal up to 6. And I'm going to try and get promoted. That is a 2d6 plus your current merit points. We get a 5. <laughs> Goes up to 11. Yeah, they're, they're still laughing at us. Uh, port events. Um, D12 plus 2. 11, 12, 13. Another social function. One of these times we're going to do good at these. Uh, our social is D12. This five, one success, and our integrity is a D8, a two, none, one success. Oh boy, public embarrassment, minus one, we go down to five. We're not doing well on them. And uh, on a die roll of one to two on six, we will conduct a duel. We do not, so we just lose a merit point. <sighs> Port actions. Let's see if we can get our uh, posting again. So we're going to go ahead and do our uh, ship assignment. We're in another port. We're going to roll a D12. Up D12. Five. Roll for a shore assignment again. D12 as a lieutenant. Five. Oops. Not that. And I'll frigate. Five. Land skirmish. So we got to do a land skirmish. All right. Um, land skirmish soldiers. Um, soldiers for for a land skirmish event. It's two d six plus twelve soldiers. Two D six plus twelve. And that's gonna be regular guys this time. Enemy force battle board. Two D six plus twelve. Seven. Nineteen. Really doesn't say anything about having a, ca a a captain on there, so I don't know whether I should give them a captain or not. I'm not going to give him one. Um, doesn't say I'm not going to give him one. Uh, friendly force. We got a half of our crew. Half of our crew is. I lost my boat again. Keep hiding it behind things. Well, we got 11 guys. Ouch. Plus me. We're going to be looking at my. Uh, my my roles to be good <laughs> or we're in trouble in this one. All right, so a land skirmish is going to be get this one out of the way. Um, each side refers to combat attack dice table and, and um, all right. They got 19, D12, three, no successes. We have 11, that's a D10. Four, one success. Uh, leadership, D10. Two, no successes. Shooting, D10. Six, that's two successes for three. And our fighting, D D8, three, none. So we got three successes to none on them. 
So we won by three successes or more. Con uh, combat continues. Get a merit point. We go up to six. Each side takes D6 damage roll. My side, D6, is going to be six minus two. That go on, at least two crew. And their side is of one. Of course it is. All right, there we go again. We did not do well on that one. We do not do well. I, I do not like melees. I never fare well on them. Uh, D8 this time. We get a three. No successes on a D8. We are going to add our leadership. D10. Nine. That's good successes there. That's going to be three successes. Our shooting. D10. Seven. That's going to be... Uh, uh, two more, that's five successes, and our fighting D8, one, nothing. So we got five successes to their 19, got to be a D12, one, no successes. We won five, for no, five to nothing. Enemy force withdraws, but take a D6 crew damage roll. Four, that's one more down on our guys. We lost a total of three crew so far. Uh, we take a D6 wound roll for us, and we gain three merit. Increase three merit. Three. I'm going to hold on to the merits and try and increase my um, gunnery or my shooting a little bit. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's tough holding on to that. Uh, we take a D6 wound roll for us, which is five. It's going to be two off of our stamina, which we're going to get right back, so I'm not going to change it. Sequence of play. We're going to go ahead and remove these. We go back to our ship. Get our sequence of play back up here. That was our assignment for this time. No C assignments. We're going to advance our turn, so we're going to lose our two. Add our two for healing and port. So we're still at six. Not going to check for... I really want to check for promotion, though. We got a nine merit now. We'll start all over again, but we could get a bigger ship and stand a chance. Let's try for it. It's a promotion. Uh, we need an 18 plus roll on 2d6. We got an 8 plus 9 is 17. Not enough to get promoted again. Um, roll for a port event. Plus two, four, five, six. We are anchored in port to gather provisions. Oh, I forgot. We lost three guys, too. That goes down to 19. All right. And we roll for our leadership, which is a D10. Nine good successes there. Three. And our integrity D8, five. Four successes as a lieutenant is going to be well supplied. Gain a merit up to 10. And restore two cannon or crew. I don't need cannon, so I will take two crew back. All right. Um, port action. Let's see if we can get another, uh, try our, our ship assignment again. D12, three, roll for a C assignment. We got a C assignment. For a frigate, that's going to be a D12. 12. Squadron convoy, those I like. That's just a naval battle all the way. And we're going to go to 46. Constantinople. And that's all we can do. We can't do anything. We're not out at sea yet. So we're going to go to healing. Nothing yet. I'm going to skip over the uh, promotion. We're going to check to see. Uh, spending merit points. OK. 
Okay, and we'll go to merit. I know it's in here. I just there's one chart I gotta put in yet, so it makes it easier. I don't have to keep doing this. Improvement right down here. We can only improve something up to a D10. So it's gonna be either strength, integrity, rigging, or fighting. We lose integrity a lot and we lose fighting a lot. It's got integrity up there. Let's try integrity. I'm gonna I'm gonna advance integrity up. That's going to spend all my points to zero. I'd rather take that chance. And port actions. Uh, no, we're not going to check for promotion. We're going to roll for a port event. Four. Plus two is a uh, six. We're anchored in port, gather provisions. I like gather provisions. We can just do well. Leadership and integrity. Integrity is now D10. Six, that's two successes. And leadership is D10. Four, three successes as a lieutenant. Adequate positions. Restore one cr uh, crew or cannon. We only need a crew. So we'll take one, one crew more. That's not bad. Could have done better on that. We didn't get anything, but we didn't lose anything. Determine port actions. We're going to set sails. We're going to move. D6 plus our ship speed. 6 plus 4 is 10. Sea actions. Ship movement. 10. 4 plus. 1, 2, 3, 4. No matter what, I'm going to be in a coastal. Roll for C event, D12 plus 2, 9, 10, 11. We are in a coastal. Enemy in sight, conduct a naval battle. Ooh, boy. Well, this could be a long-winded um, naval battle. This will be a long-winded video because I'm going to I wait till the end of the turn to conduct this. So we're going to go ahead and set that to the battle board. We're going to send us to the battle board. Uh, naval battle, we got to determine opposing ship. We are fourth-rate ship of the line. We're going to roll a D6, four. That's fourth-rate frigate, so we're up against a like opponent. We're going to set his crew, 25 to R22. And we're going to assign them a captain. Commander, and they're outclassing us here. All right, that's the battle board. Ter determine opposing ship's orders. It's going to be a zero right here, plus one to their dice roll. A five, six. They're going to attempt to flee. We are attempting to catch them uh, because we are squadrons, so we're attempting to engage. So engaging, and they're fleeing. We're going to the pursuit table. Each ship captain rolls their um, seamanship plus their ship speed. So I'm going to do theirs first, which is a D8. Two goes up to a six against our seamanship D10. Seven plus four is 11. So 11 to six. And we add our, our, our rigging, which is a D8. Seven plus four is 11. 11 to six. 11 to 6, we're going to add excesses. That's uh, 5, goes up to 8. And we're going to do leadership, D10, nothing. So we got 8 to 6. 7, no, 11, 12, duh. Come on, 12 to 6, which we won by 6 or more. Uh, fire a broadside and then grapple. So we don't get any retaliation on this. We just got to knock that crew down some if. If we don't knock them down enough, we won't grapple. So with broadside, we got 10 cannon, and we're going to be adding our gunnery successes. Our gunnery successes are D10, 4. So we're going to 
going to have 11, 12, 11 shots. And we get three, six, seven hits. Three are no effect. Threes and fours are crew effects. So we're going to knock them down three crew. Which is also going to roll three times for a one. Nope, Captain did not get hit. And we're also going to be dropping them down one structure. The nine. Now we got to attempt to grapple because we knocked our crew down enough. This is where we always have trouble. Each side refers to the combat attack dice table. We're going to be looking for successes. We really need a good one on this one. Uh, we have 22 crew. Let's do theirs first. 22 crew for them. 2d6. That's two successes. Um, their leadership is an eight. With no successes. Their gunnery or uh, shooting is a eight. Two successes, so they go up to a four. And their fighting is a eight. Five. They go up to a five, so they got five. Our successes. 2d6 for us. <laughs> One success. Our leadership is a D10. Three, no successes. Boy, here we go again. Must be melee. Shooting is a D10. Five, one success is two. And our fighting is a D8. Four. So we got three successes to their five. Each side takes a D6 crew damage roll. Conduct another round. All right, so D6 for us is a 1. No, no crew casualties. We do take a D8 wound roll. 7, that's going to knock us down too. And their crew roll is a 1. No effect. We start all over again. Ah, them first, 22. 2D6. That's two successes. Uh, leadership, D8. Three successes, shooting, D8, no successes, fighting, five, one success. So they go four successes on them. Our guys, 2D6, uh, two successes. Our uh, leadership, D10, one, no successes. Our shooting, D10. Four is three successes, and our fighting is a D8. Five. That is one six. So it's tie. Player ship withdraws and takes D8 crew damage roll. That's seven. That's two successes, so we take two crew damage. And we withdrew again. That's not good for our merits. We take a D8 wound roll for me. Six is a minus one. Goes down to three. We withdrew. So um, players ship fled. D6 three defeat. So we do not get it. We did not uh, strike. We did not withdraw, so we don't lose anything. Yeah, we did. We withdrew. We are a fourth rate, and we withdrew, so we lose two merit points. Jesus, here we are in the negative again. It, it's just social functions and melees are absolutely killing us. We just can't seem to get our shit together there. Undo that. 20. Yeah, we're good. Return to Matt, and I gotta really put the return to Matt in my guys to send him to. I gotta put his. Remember to do that. Make it a little bit easier. All right, that was our C event. We are not in port, so we go next turn. Healing phase. We're at C, so we're gonna heal two. We go back up to five. 
and next turn also is going to be 46. We can't try any port actions. We're still at sea, so we're going to move the ship. One plus, uh, we're still a four. Yep, goes up to five. Ship movement five is two. That's going to get us to go into Palermo. Uh, we're going to roll for a sea event. We're in a coastal port. D12 plus two, five, six, seven. Storm, another storm. This could be a reef. Our seamanship is a D10. Eight, good successes there. Oh, no, you know, no successes. Eight plus four is a 12, no damage, so we don't get anything there. We, we do not have a port assignment or anchor in port, so we're going to go up to the healing phase. Turn 47. We heal. One more gets us up to six. Uh, we are not in port, so we go to sea actions. Move the ship. D6, one, that's going to get us two whole, two whole movement points again, I believe. Uh, four, five, actually two, yes, two. It's going to get us nowhere. We can actually be in C, though. So we're going to roll a C event. D12 plus two is an eight, nine, ten. And we are actually in the C. Enemy in sight, conduct another naval battle. This did not work well last time. I'm at an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. We'll conduct, conduct a naval battle in the next uh, video. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. This is Set Sails for Glory by Berserker Games, Eric Von Rossing, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.